Hey everyone, Gary Elysium's here. Welcome to a different type of video. Now before we get in this video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, help support my channel. So today, we're gonna to do a video that I've been talking about for quite some time. That's a tour of my music room. And my music room starts right behind this door here, so we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna open up, as you can see, we got all this uh, artwork going down. So let's get right into it. All right, everyone, so I have, it's kind of a tight hallway going downstairs. But as you can see, I have the artwork, the posters going on down. Here on the ceiling, I've got the ACDC discography poster. Over here, Chuck Berry, Beatles Let It Be poster. Doors, People Are Strange. Elvis Presley, that's like a tin poster. Uh, an old pullout from a, an old Kerrang! magazine I have, Black Crows, put that in a frame. Golden Gate Park, special guest Jefferson Airplane, The Grateful Dead. One of the greatest debuts albums of all time, The Cars. We have this John Lennon poster. Uh, this is actually an old back patch I had from one of my vests, uh, Metallica Vester Puppets. I put it in a frame once I tore it off. Pearl Jam's debut album, 10. And also on the ceiling, we got this KISS, uh, kind of a license plate looking poster there. This is The Who, I believe this is 2006 in Philadelphia. Above that, we got an old poster from one of my band's old shows at Tom and Jerry's. Right above that, Bob Dylan, who sits underneath that ACDC. Sorry about the glare, there's not a lot of light here. And it's a little tight, so kind of hard to see. Ziggy Stardust, obviously. Uh, it's a poster of Epiphone guitars. And then with the Beatles, final cover there, it's framed. And as we go down, um, this side is my music room. This is the doorway. And as you go through here on your right, you have my music section. Let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, you know, it's got my guitars on there, my amplifier. He's Black Star. My keyboard, um, you know, a microphone. It's basically where I make music at. Got three more vinyl albums framed there. My pedals up there. I use Zoom pedals, uh, B3 for the bass, um, a Zoom pedal for the guitar. Uh, some of the songs I wrote. Yeah, the Motorhead War Pig figure. That's uh, a little collage I made for when I played New York City. Just some old uh, band promo stuff I have. A little collage I made. There's Kurt looking over me. Beatles guitar picks. Lyrics from Let It Be. And um, this I actually framed. They are real ticket stubs from Woodstock. As you can see, someone bought these tickets or they were just dead stock and no one actually went to the show. I guess maybe because it came, became a free show. But these are actual tickets and I put them in a frame. Uh, here is a poster I got from the Beatles 1 album on vinyl. Basically just picture of, of all their 45 single sleeves. And then, uh, you know, got Axis Bolt of Love poster there, some stickers, mainly Grateful Dead. And then a couple posters here. These are actually in my upstairs hallway, but we're in the process of, uh, you know, doing a little remodel and painting. So they're there for right now. So I put them back up. And over here on this side is more of the, there's my cat named Randy Rhodes. Is kind of the, uh, you know, TV entertainment section there on my couch. Okay, up here we got some Funko Pops. Uh, I'm not really big into collecting them. I just grab the ones that I like from some of my favorite artists. The music ones. This is an old uh, Motley Crue ticket stub from 2005 in Tampa. This is an Abbas Snow Globe. This is actually um, this was put, put out by Season of Mist Records. And Abbas's hair was painted black when it should have been brown or something like that. So it's like a reject. But it's actually really rare, so I'm glad I have it. Here I have some more Funko Pops, kind of my little Iron Maiden shrine. 
And I did put all my Funko Pops together. We got Ozzy, Aerosmith, Metallica, Slayer, Alice Cooper, Angus down here. We got Motley Crue, John Lennon. Uh, this is an autographed. This is autographed by Ted Nugent. Damn Yankee CD. Uh, we got an original 1977 Leonard Skinner Street Survivors pin. Bob Marley lighter. Grateful Dead bear. There's a uh, Rolling Stones lighter set that I never opened. King Diamond. Down here, Guns N' Roses, Motorhead, The King, Elvis Presley, and The Queen, Freddie Mercury. Cool little Ozzy doll there from the early 2000s. There's a cool poster there, Ozzy with Randy. 1982, unfortunately, it showed it happened because of the untimely passing of Randy Rhodes. There's my dog Sullivan. Uh, he passed away back in 2019, but he was awesome. Miles Davis. This little poison poster. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of reflection on this. Just a basic TV. Uh, I have a PlayStation 3. I'm not, not a gamer. I just have it because uh, it plays Blu-rays, DVDs, and it streams before I you know, had a Fire Stick or Roku or anything that was around. Uh, here is my KISS collection, broken down by shelves. Uh, that Love Gun is actually, the Love Gun um, album cover you see back there is actually a box set with these figures in it. Uh, these are backstage passes, but they're not real. They're just uh, reprints. KISS Cola, KISS Magazine over there, some Ace Freely toy, Gene Simmons. Uh, again, this is not a soda. It's just a little tin where a Paul Stanley figure came in, which I do have him on a different shelf. Uh, he's right there, actually. Kiss comic book. Uh, some more Kiss Funko, Funko. Excuse me. This book is pretty cool. It's a Kiss collectibles. Basically tells you the worth of all the uh, actual Kiss collectibles. It's from the 90s. There's a backstage pass from the Hot in the Shade tour, 1989. Uh, my favorite member of Kiss, Ace Freely, the spaceman there. See the Psycho Circus, Gene Simmons action figure, and along with another Paul Stanley action figure. And down here, uh, in the back over here, is actually a Kiss collage poster. Take It Off, Kiss Truly a Mask was a pretty cool book to read. Basically detailed the error from Lick It Up up until they put the makeup back on in Psycho Circus. Uh, another Kiss puzzle, obviously, is the cover of Alive. Ace Freely book, some Kiss uh, Little People figures kiss pick so if anyone's looking at that uh stay puff marshmallow man I, my uh parents actually got me that for christmas kind of funny because i was a huge ghostbusters fan so that's why it's over there and down here is the complete collection still sealed of the psycho circus figures i still have the box but the box was opened when i bought them in the box so i have the box in up in the attic but the reason i say the box because it has the kiss logo and the psycho circus logo on there and there's just some patches down there with the Paul Stanley book over here in this wall got the rush poster some Beatles yellow submarine figures along with the yellow submarine matchbox or hot wheels sorry uh, this here is pretty cool my girlfriend's friend brought this for her from back from New Orleans uh, just some of my DVDs that I put on from time to time big fan of like early horror westerns yeah, James Bond movies, Mafia movies, things like that. So that's what's right there. There's a Beatles comic book there. Led Zeppelin poster. Black Sabbath and Back in Black. These are Funko, what are they called? Funko Pop albums. Jerry Seinfeld is probably my favorite sitcom of all time. This is just a DVD case. Uh, basically all my girlfriend's DVDs. Doors LA Woman. Some more little miniature postcards that I framed, the Runaways poster, Jimi Hendrix figure with the Woodstock poster, and then tours down there. There's a little end table there. That radio actually works. And then the posters behind the couch, we got Richie Blackmore, Pink Floyd, Wish Over Here, Pink Floyd Animals, uh, Black Sabbath, Special Guest Kiss from 1975. Not the best looking couch, but whatever. It's comfortable. It works. That's the other end table I have there. This is actually a black, a real black rose. 
obviously it was dyed with these colors but uh you know i you get the thin lizzy reference so it's really cool i like it and has a thin lizzy reference to it so i keep it like that some coasters use your illusion one and two uh which oversees it these are actually um original cutouts i had from magazines when these albums were out uh, Sepultura Roots, that would have been 96. Alice in Chains self-title would have been 95. Slayer Live Intrusion, um, 1995. I was going to say, I know that was a VHS, but I don't remember the year. Okay, and as we spin around here, uh, basically just my magazine and book collection. Uh, these are all, you know, Guitar World magazines, Rolling Stone special issues, uh, old circus magazines, old spin magazines, old hit parader magazines. As you can see here, I got some uh, uh, English magazines like Classic Rock, Prague. Uh, that Black Sabbath is actually a really rare, like early 80s. Uh, it's a book, but kind of in a magazine form. It says Ronnie James Dio on the cover. So it's when Ronnie James Dio was active in the band. So I think it's copyright like 80 or 81. And these are some old uh, Rolling Stone magazines. From the 90s I have, this is a Grace Under Pressure tour book from Rush. Some more books here. This is an original 1964 Paul McCartney toy doll. Um, it is in pretty good shape. I know I featured him in my Beatles collection video earlier in the week. Unfortunately, I don't own the other three Beatles. Original, uh, well not an original, but an early pressing of Bob Dylan's Tarantula book. Like I said, mostly music books. This is a uh, 1935, I believe, pressing of Edgar Allan Poe book. Some more books down there. Sorry about the phone being a little bobbly. Kind of want to get a photographer for this. Uh, here's just some more other, you know, odds and ends I put there. Let me figure. Actual can of Gilly's beer from Mickey Gilly, the country western singer. Uh, this beer was I really liked a lot. American Beauty Ripple. Um, Sublime beer, ACDC German beer, some more books, some more down there, and over here we have my DVDs, they're in alphabetical and chronological order, I should say DVDs and Blu-rays because some of them are Blu-rays mixed in, don't have that many, I mean I guess I have a good amount but not as many as you would think, or I would think I would have. Um, there we have in the Angus figure. That's a Kurt Cobain cigarette holder. Pink Floyd cards, a Pink Floyd the Wall patch, a Tot Le Monde, named after this Megadeth song beer. Obviously, the beer was drinking. Not a real skull. I wish it was, but it's not. And just up here, you have my hamster. She likes to hide in there. And speaking of pets, if we go to this wall, this is my bearded dragon. His name is Jim. Full name, James Douglas Morris in the second. He sits in that tank there. A uh, little Black Star practice amp I use. That radio actually works. Up here, uh, this is a Dio picture I pulled out from an early circus magazine, I believe. Framed it. Same thing with this. Original 1989 Soundgarden ad from a magazine I ripped out. Um, some little postcard posters there. Guns and Roses, Rolling Stones Altamont, concert poster there, is the Beatles, sepia print, same thing with Janice down there, this is a, I believe this is from 77, Steve Miller Band, Book of Dreams, Mirror Art, like it's actually from the 70s, there's a lithograph, Jimi Hendrix Experience, Kiss Destroyer poster, Toys in the Attic, Pink Floyd, Bob Dylan. That's a um, Aladdin saying like a tote bag for vinyl. This is my first vinyl, um, what do I call it? Vinyl shelf. I don't have as much vinyl. I mean, I, I think I have like around, somewhere around 500. But I'll show you more. Up here we have this cool little, uh, picture here features just a mishmash of different cassettes i thought it fit me well because of my love of all different genres 
Um, so my system needs to get worked on. So right now I'm just using that. There's some stuff down that I showed in past videos. Some old VHSs. So those ones, you can see the hype VHS and underneath that is actual live footage of Nirvana from clubs in the late 80s. And I've inherited that from someone in a trade. Uh, then we have some backstage passes for like the Rolling Stone Steel Wheels tour, that David Bowie and Guns N' Roses Appetite for Destruction thing there. They are actually, um, they actually hold your vinyl play, vinyl record kind of display as you're like a now playing thing. Here we have my 8-track machine, a couple 8-tracks, not a lot. Down there, that's actually a portable uh, record player. Sometimes you want to bring it out in, in the backyard or something, and obviously in the shade when it's not too hot, and play my stuff. Up here, we got some of the more amazing albums. Dark Side of the Moon, Nursery Crime, Astro Weeks, The Beatles with the Butchered Babies cover. And there is the rest of my vinyl. I haven't really bought vinyl in a while only because I don't really have much room for it. These are all full, like pretty tight. Uh, I also have some 45s down there, but I guess I have room that I could probably, st I could, these are definitely stackable because I had them stacked before. So I guess I could stack them up and add some more. All right, on this wall, this is where the CD collection starts. Slayer, Rain of Blood. Uh, there's an old Vince Neil. Ripped that out from an old circus magazine. Another little collage I made, like kind of a thrash metal collage. Uh, my CD collection, and they're in all alphabetical order. Chronological, according to release, as you can see there, it goes from ACDC, all the way through to Aerosmith, Alice in Chains, then we're getting into bees. Um, I do have these little lights on top. It's pretty bright out today kind of thought I needed the light for this video so these lights actually light up pretty well in the night so it goes around I kind of made a little alcove here and this is the back of my um bookcases I still got to get some posters to fill that in but yeah this is um so there one two three, four four of these shelving units uh, together uh, well not together but all together there's four shelving units it goes all the way down so everything i have here is basically you know rock hard rock metal uh, i could even say some are pop alternative grunge stuff like that and they're all if i can go inside here i have these little tabs as you can see here they're all alphabetized so you can find stuff easier you know i still have trouble finding stuff and then trying to see if I go down here everything's from A to Z and then I have stuff categorized by the blues country and again they're still in alphabetical order country goes there we have jazz oldies reggae soul or right, some rap stuff down there some soundtracks Christmas music down at the bottom I have cassettes they're just all listed in alphabetical order Hope it don't make anyone dizzy watching this video. And then over here are my box sets. Don't have that many. There's definitely more I need to get. Uh, but what I do is I take the CDs out of the box set if they're in a jewel case and they're able to come out. And I put them with my other CDs in the collection. Just makes it easier to grab and if I just want to listen to real quick so to open up the box set. And then, uh, then I just had this table here. Just my box of uh, incense and things like that. Basically where I film all my videos. As you can see, that's usually the background behind me. And you always get that Rain and Blood poster. So yeah, this is my, uh, this is my music room. Jim's, uh... Jim's entertained. From this angle. And uh, the other side of my basement is kind of a playroom for my uh, girlfriend's son. So that's everything. Yeah, so everyone, again, thanks for watching uh, my music room tour. I'll probably make another video if I change things up drastically. Maybe I'll do these like once a year. Uh, for those of you interested in my CD collection, I did post a video, I want to say almost a year ago, where I show off my complete CD collection. 
but it's obviously changed and much more is at it. So I'm thinking about redoing that. The original one had like 12 parts and because I literally pulled out every CD to show it. I like doing that. It just might take a lot of parts to do it. So again, everyone, thanks for watching. I hope I didn't make it too dizzy with the camera moving around so much. And please hit that subscribe button. See you in the next video.